Good morning. This morning I'm going to cover the question 6.2 of the COS 2611-2016 May-June exam paper. It's given us, it says here, consider the following sequence of numbers, 2, 5, 7, 4, 12, and 8, and it wants to sort the list using quick sort algorithm with the middle element as pivot. Show the state of the list after each call to the partition procedure. Indicate the pivots in each list. So what I've done is I've, uh, is I've copied the, the list according to what they've got. These are some key concepts to learn. Um, some important concepts. Select the middle value to be your pivot or split the list into two. Okay. Insert the pivot value into its required location. Then sort the left or lower sublist first. Sort the right or upper sublist second. This is as per the tutorial 202 of 2016. So as you can see, here is my list here. I've got, uh, I've labeled this the location because we've got it in as an array, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have our values, 2, 5, 7, 4, 12, 8, which are exactly as per the exam paper. So if I, if I use the standard C++ way of uh, getting 5 divided by 2, I find that 2 is my midpoint, so I'm going to use uh, 7. The value of 7 is my um, is my pivot. Okay. So now the second step says insert the pivot value into its required location. Okay. So first what I've done is I've just highlighted what I'm using as my pivot over there. And it's still currently under the same location it was. Over here I've moved my pivot uh, value number seven to where it's supposed to be located. Okay, and all that I'm doing is I am taking it from here and I'm inserting it into here. And it doesn't matter if I used five and I decided that five needed to be inserted into here. Uh, all I would do is move the left values down one, and the right values would remain the same. My, wherever my pivot value is going, the value that's that's at that current location, all of these other ones on the left shift one to the left. Okay, so that's why it looks like I'm doing a, a swap, um, but it's not. I'm actually just I'm inserting the seven where the four was, and because four is the only uh, one that's there, it's shifting to the left. Okay, so that's just my pivot seven. The next, the next one I identify is on the left hand side because it says sort the left or lower sublist first. So the next one I've identified is uh, number five. So I've highlighted that as my pivot. Okay, and now I'm going to move that pivot. As you can see, I've moved it to the right. So although it looks like I'm still just swapping the 4 and the 5, I'm actually inserting the 5 in the, in the place of 4, and the 4 is shifting 1 to the left. Okay. So although I've got all this left side uh, sorted, I think you still need to reflect it. So what I've done is I've just said repeat steps 1 and 2 for values 2 and 4. Just so that Unisa can see that you selected the 4 as a pivot and you selected the 2 as a pivot and they are in the correct location. Alright. Then the next one um, was to, I selected the value on the right because now the, I'm doing the fourth step, which is the value on the right. And I've selected uh, 12 and I find that 12 is greater than 8. So you'll see that I've placed 12 into the location and I've said here that you should repeat the same process for uh, the location of 4 value 8 just so that they can see that you understand that um, the sort algorithm is already completed 
um, but that's the pivot that you that you were testing. So this is it's a quick one for um, yeah for for this quick sort algorithm. Um, I hope this video has helped you to understand it. Um, it's not wasn't the best example because uh, I looked like you were doing a a, um, a swap instead of a insertion, but Hopefully you do understand that all that you're doing is moving the one value, putting it in the, where the, the uh, value is supposed to go, and then those values to the left would shift to the left, and the value that is on the right will remain where they are. So thank you for watching this video. Good luck with the exam.